Hi, good day. My name is Ninia Alonso Magallanes, 20 years old, currently studying at Northeastern Mindanao State University, Liangke Campus. A second year college student of Bachelor of Secondary Education, major in Science. In this video, we are going to tackle about Kendall's W coefficient of concordance. I am going to share to you my simplified understanding based on what I have learned during the discussion. First, we will gather significant information about Kendall's W coefficient of concordance and then we will be having an application through problem solving. Please note that I am not an expert as what I have said a while ago. I am student sharing my simplified understanding about Kendall's W coefficient of concordance as a fulfillment of the course requirement. Please feel free to correct me whenever I am wrong. Thank you! What is Kendall's W coefficient of concordance? Kendall's W is best known as Kendall's coefficient of concordance. It is named after the proponent Sir Maurice George Kendall, an FBA and was a permanent British statistician. It is a non parametric statistics. It means it does not make any assumptions about the characteristics of the sample for the rank correlation. Kendall's W is a normalization of the statistics of the Friedman test and it is useful for assessing agreement among raters and in particular in the inter-rater reliability. Kendall's coefficient of concordance formula is W equals 12 summation of D squared over M squared times N times N squared minus 1. Here we have the Kendall's W coefficient of concordance sample problem number 1. There are three judges rated eight essays with the following results. Calculate the coefficient of concordance and provide the interpretation for this data. So, as stated in the problem, we have eight essays placed in the first column. And then, we have the three judges in the first, second, up to the third row. And these are the ratings. What we are going to find is the coefficient of concordance and the interpretation of Kendall's W. First thing we are going to do is to obtain the sum of the ratings from each row by simply adding 2 plus 3 plus 4 is equal to 9. And then, the same mathematical operation we are going to apply for the rest. We have 1 plus 2 plus 2 is equal to 5. Now, since we all now have the sum of the ratings from each row, the second thing we are going to do is to obtain the summation of the ratings by simply adding 9 plus 5 plus 8 plus 22 plus 20 plus 13. Alright, since we now have the summation of the ratings, the third thing we are going to do is to obtain the... Let's wait. With the formula, hmm? summation of R over N, or the number of is eight. So we're going to substitute. We have summation of R is equal to ninety-eight over N. We have eight is eight. Ninety-eight divided is equal to twelve point twenty-five. Five. So now we have the value of X rating, which is twelve point. 25. We will follow one digit after the decimal point, and since the next of point 0.2 is 5, it can now be 12.3. Point 12.25 point is equal to 12.3. And now we are able to proceed and get the D column by subtracting each value in the sum of ratings to the X rating, which is 12.3. And in this case, we have 9 minus 12.3 is equal to negative 3.3. Negative 3.3. And the same mathematical operation we are going to apply for the rest. So and now since the D value is complete, we can now proceed. Let us obtain the D squared of each essay by simply entering each value in the D column and press the X squared symbol beside the square root symbol in the scientific calculator, then press equal for the answer. And at this case we have negative 3.3.3 3 squared is equal to 10.89. 10 89. And the same mathematical operation we are going for the rest. At this juncture, we have to get the summation of the squared by simply adding 10.89 plus 53.29 plus 18.49 of the rest. So here it is. In this case, we have 10.89 plus 53.29 is equal to 
equal to 283.52. And now the table is complete. Let us list all the given. Given. It is equal to 283.52. And then the m squared. The m squared is the number of raters. It is the great number of raters. The great number of raters. The squared is equal to 9. And then the n, or the number of essays. We have 8 essays. It's equal to 8. And then m squared. The n is 8. And then we have to gather also the n squared. So n squared is equal to 8 squared. And 8 squared is equal to 64. 64. And then, in order to proceed in the solution, of course, we have the Kendall's W formula. The formula is W equals 12 summation of D squared over M squared times N times N squared minus 1. Let us all substitute all the given to the formula. We have W equals 12 times the summation of D squared, which is 153.52 over m squared, which is 9. 9 times 10, number of is 8. 8. Okay. And then n squared, which is 64. 64 minus 1. Now we have w is equal to, we're going to multiply 12 times 253.52 is equal to 3,142.24 3,142.24 and now after that let us multiply 9 times 8 is equal to 72 let's do the uh, mathematical operation which is 64 minus 1 is equal to 63 U equals 3,142.24 over 72 times 63 is equal to 4,536. 4,536. Now we have 3,142.24 divided by 4,536 is equal to 0. 67, 670, 68, 78, Between the W value, which is too broad, and it is hard for us to find the interpretation, since looking back at the Kendall's W rule, it is only two digit from the decimal point. But in this case, the common solution of this is to round off the numbers. But unfortunately, the next of seven is zero. So therefore, it cannot be rounded off. So the final value, W, is equal to zero point. 67 and it has substantial agreement. A Kendall's W coefficient value of 0 0.67 indicates the arrangement of the three judges in the eight is and accordingly there is a substantial agreement among the judges or the raters. And that concludes our problem solving.